Today we want to talk about a different verb tense. We want to talk about the future tense. So future, obviously showing action that hasn't happened yet. And the basic helping word for us in English is will. So we want to show how, or we want to show how that we can express that in Latin, the something will happen. All right, so step number one, drop R-E from the second dictionary entry. And you're saying, but wait, we've heard that before. Of course you have. We did the same thing on the present tense, you recall. But this time we add a different set of endings. We put our singular and plural charts up. Again, first person, second person, and third person rows. And what we're going to add this time will be the endings bo, bis, bit, bimus, bitus, bunt. Now, if you look carefully, some of that should look familiar. Matter of fact, go through and underline right now the parts of those endings that look similar to what we've had in present tense. Pause the video and give that a try. What you should have underlined would be the O-S-T-M-U-S-T-I-S-N-T. -S it's those same endings we've had before, with just a little bit more on the front end. All right, let's try one of the new verbs. Uh, this is from page 53. Try the new verb, navigo, navigare, navigawi, navigatus, to sail. And I'll set the chart up for us. And you might want to leave a couple lines in between. First person, skip a couple lines, second person, Skip a couple lines in the third person and see if you can conjugate that verb in the future tense in both Latin and English. Hit pause on the video and give it a try. All right, what we should have done is to drop the RE off the second dictionary entry. And that would have given us naviga all the way through as a stem. Again, I like writing the stem down everywhere. Then we simply pop the endings on. We have nawigabo, nawigabis, nawigabit, nawigabimus, nawigabitis, nawigabunt. In English, I will sail, you will sail, he she or it will sail, we will sail, you will sail, and they will sail. Now we want to take an example in a sentence, but that's how you would conjugate that verb in the in the present or in the first conjugation. Well, let's see this in an actual sentence. Maybe we have something like this. So what if we had something like this? We've got Regina ad Italiam navigat et ad Graciam navigabit. All right, so we want to see what our verbs are. First thing we do is underline our verbs. Well, there's now we got and now we got bit. You say, well, what's the tense? Well, we only know two tenses, so it's pretty easy right now. Now we got is present tense. And now we got bit is future. How you can recognize the future? Right now your life is pretty easy. If it's got a big old B in there, then that's future tense. And if it doesn't, it's present. And that'll last us for a little while. So what's happening? Well. We have the queen, present tense, sails to Italy. That's what she's doing right now. And she will sail, there's the future, she will sail to Greece. 
And that's future tense for first conjugation verbs.